the momentum isn't slowing down. There's plenty to catch up on with Starship and SpaceX's progress. Flight 5 just concluded, but we're already gearing up for the next milestone, Flight 6 of Starship. Confidence is at an all-time high, especially after SpaceX successfully recovered the hot staging ring from Flight 5. All signs point to an exciting end to 2024 as SpaceX continues to advance the race toward full reusability and space exploration. Let's find out more on today's episode of Great SpaceX. Not too long ago, with the delays to Flight 5, many doubted that Flight 6 would launch before the year ended. Yet, here we are, with anticipation building for what could be the fourth Starship flight in 2024. But before diving into Flight 6 progress, let's quickly update you on some fascinating developments from Flight 5. Recently released images show the recovery of the hot staging ring from B-12 in the Gulf of Mexico. This marks the first time that SpaceX has recovered every part of a booster intact. While previous flights saw some pieces lost, this achievement sets a new precedent for SpaceX's engineering reliability. Though the ring is slightly warped, likely due to the intense heat from the ship's engines, its overall integrity is a promising sign for future missions. With that exciting update on Flight 5 behind us, it's time to focus on what's next. Flight 6 is already in motion. Building on the success of Flight 5, SpaceX is wasting no time preparing for the next launch. After returning B-12 from the launch pad a few days ago, by the afternoon of October 21st, B-13 had already begun its move inside Mega Bay. Prior to that, the booster transport stand was positioned in front of Mega Bay, ready for the transfer. According to the previous closure schedule, by the morning of October 22nd, Booster 13 had exited Mega Bay, and by noon, it began its journey to the launch site, where it was placed in the center of the chopstick arms. SpaceX shared images of this step with the message, Flight 6 Super Heavy Booster moved to the Starbase pad for testing. The move comes just one week after returning the first booster caught following launch. This suggests a strong likelihood of a static fire test implied by SpaceX's extended road closure schedule, which is typically reserved for testing at the launch site as opposed to Massey. These developments also highlight the rapid pace of refurbishment at the launch pad. The last flight didn't cause any major damage to the system. After B-12 departed, the chopstick arms underwent basic tests, and the bumpers and landing rail systems were checked and deemed stable. Additionally, the booster stabilizer pins at the orbital launch mount, or OLM, were reinstalled. As for the road closures, they were scheduled from 6 in the evening to 12 midnight on October 23rd, with two backup dates from 8 in the morning to 8 in the evening on October 24th and the 25th Central. It's clear that SpaceX is making swift progress, with these steps happening just over a week after Flight 5. We can expect Booster 13 to complete a static fire by the end of the month. Once that's done, both Flight 6 hardware components will have finished their individual tests. Starship 31 had already completed cryogenic tests, and in September, it successfully completed a static fire test at Massey. Musk announced that Flight 6 was ready pending FAA approval. Now it's just waiting for B-13 to conduct its integration tests and be ready for launch. If this pace continues, integration tests could take place in early or mid-November, but we'll need to see B-13's progress first. Many might wonder why I'm predicting a later timeline. The reason is that I believe both stages will undergo thorough testing. For B-13, the engine system will be closely monitored to avoid warping issues, ensuring efficiency for landing on the Mechazilla arm, as seen in Flight 5. Additionally, hot staging installations will need to be performed. These steps are critical, as B-13 is expected to be caught on the Mechazilla arm in the next flight. As for Ship 31, its engines will also need testing for landing capabilities. Moreover, the heat shield and flap systems will be inspected. It seems Ship 31 still has older tiles, and SpaceX will likely replace them with new armor, similar to Ship 30, to ensure a successful landing in the next flight. At this rate, I predict the launch for Flight 6 will be around late November or early December. Preparations can move quickly, and given the positive outcome of Flight 5, I don't anticipate the FAA causing any delays. I'm hopeful that Flight 6 will launch on November 23rd as a birthday gift for Gwen Shotwell, SpaceX's president, who has been instrumental in the company's success. 
Feel free to share your own predictions for the launch date in the comment section down below. And don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to our channel to stay updated on SpaceX's development journey. And while we're on the subject of readiness, let's take a closer look at what the timeline for Flight 6 might actually look like. Firstly, Flight 6 will solidify SpaceX's record for Starship launches within a single year. With Flight 5, SpaceX has already surpassed last year's total, and if Flight 6 is successful, they will have doubled that number in 2023, a clear sign of progress. If the launch occurs in the last two months of the year, it'll also mean a roughly two-month gap between flights. The shortest interval so far was between Flight 3 and 4, which was 2 months and 23 days. SpaceX now has a real opportunity to break that record. More importantly, we'll witness another attempt to catch the Super Heavy Booster with the Mechazilla arm. A successful catch would further validate that SpaceX is mastering this technology. However, ongoing updates will still be necessary to prevent issues like the small fire that occurred during the previous landing attempt. It might be a bit disappointing that we won't see an attempt to catch the Starship on this flight. Musk has confirmed that the first ship catching attempt will likely happen early next year. Nevertheless, landing Starship in the ocean again will allow SpaceX to improve the reliability and precision of this maneuver. Starship 30 achieved a controlled vertical landing during Flight 5, and this will be an opportunity to further refine that process. To ensure success, as mentioned earlier, modifications to the heat shield will be critical, particularly to protect the flaps during re-entry and landing. The lessons learned from Starship 30 will serve as the foundation for these changes. In summary, Flight 6 will be a crucial stepping stone for SpaceX's broader objectives over the next two years. Key goals including achieving full Starship landings, building the orbital refueling system, continuing production and testing of the Starship human landing system, and ultimately embarking on missions to the Moon and Mars. It's remarkable that a single flight to close out the year could pave the way for so many future milestones. But let's get back to the main event. There's a lot more to say about Flight 6 and why this launch will be so significant. If this mission launches before the year ends, it'll set new records for SpaceX, with Flight 5 already surpassing the number of Starship launches from 2023, a sixth launch would represent a doubling of progress in just a year. The time between flights is also shrinking. If Flight 6 happens in late November, the gap will be around two months, beating the previous record of just over two and a half months between Flights 3 and 4. But Flight 6 isn't just another test flight. It's a critical step in SpaceX's grand vision for future for the future of space exploration. The competition is heating up between three familiar players, SpaceX, ULA, and Blue Origin. Previously, I envisioned a scenario with SpaceX's Starship Flight 5, ULA's Vulcan Cert 2, and Blue Origin's new Glenn 1. Now it's shaping up to be Starship Flight 6, Vulcan 1, and new Glenn 1. Blue Origin's new Glenn appears to be scheduled for a November launch this year, with the mission set to deploy the company's payload, Blue Ring. This debut flight is more than just a technical milestone. It reflects Blue Origin's ambitious plans. Specifically, they aim to land New Glenn's booster on a drone ship, depending on how the flight proceeds. With SpaceX already succeeding in catching Super Heavy using the Mechazilla arm, it's clear Blue Origin is eager to match or surpass that achievement. On ULA's side, after some issues with their Cert 2 mission, the company has still managed to secure National Security Launch Certification. You ULA announced, Vulcan is getting ready to serve the nation. The USS F-106 launch campaign for our third Vulcan mission and first for the Space Force and the USS SSC begins today with the start of stacking operations at the Vertical Integration Facility G. USS F-106 is one of two missions remaining in ULA's 2023 backlog under the National Security Space Launch Phase 2 contract. This backlog arose from delays with the previous Vulcan mission. ULA's Atlas V had already cleared another delayed mission, USS F-51, but now ULA is focused on clearing its remaining obligations. With certification in hand, ULA is under pressure to execute these missions successfully and swiftly, as their performance will be critical to future competition with SpaceX and Blue Origin. And what a fierce competition among these three space giants. While everything is still unfolding before our very eyes, 
SpaceX, however, holds the clear advantage, having already conquered most of the hardest challenges in the industry. With five Starship flights under its belt compared to New Glenn's and Vulcan's first and third missions respectively, SpaceX's experience, technological advancements, and proven reliability put it well ahead in the race. So, as we inch closer to yet another groundbreaking launch, SpaceX continues to lead the charge, pushing the limits of innovation. For space enthusiasts like us, Flight 6 represents yet another thrilling chapter in the journey toward making humanity multiplanetary. SpaceX is ready for the challenge. Are you? Well, that wraps it up for today's episode. Thanks for sticking with us, and as always, this has been Kevin from Great SpaceX. Until next time, keep looking up.